Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and welcome to this tiny little uh, speck of a video. I'm going to try to be real quick. Uh, this was originally planned for uh, Facebook, but I figured, eh, why not and put it, put it for YouTube as well. It is a quick tutorial on how to make habitat rings for your space station or colony or whatever the case may be. So let me go here and here and let's see here. Here we go. Now the star rim station that you saw in the video previously was actually much larger than this one. Much, much larger. This one is more tightly, tightly compact, uh, has fuel for not only monopropellant but also liquid fuel. Also got these nice little bay doors in here. You can stick anything from escape pods to maybe auxiliary docking ports, whatever the, kit the case may be. Uh, the reason why I'm not putting like uh, uh, the docking port all the way in the back is because it sticks out on the side plus if you want to make it semi realistic ish then Kerbals are gonna have to come from one area to the other right so they're gonna have to walk through a type of uh, fuselage opening so yeah there you go All right. well anyway on Facebook uh, a lot of people have been asking how do you make these circular patterns so circular well I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Let's go ahead and get a new one. And once you know the technique, I'm not gonna rebuild the station for you, but once you get the technique on how to do it, then the sky is the limit. Or the universe is the limit. Or maybe you don't have any limits at all. Who knows? Okay, so let's go ahead and we have our central pillar. Basically, just like the spokes of a wheel. You wanna go ahead and grab oh, we're just gonna grab a fuel tank for now. Uh, nope, nope. Ah, there's gonna be very little editing involved. I might put a, I might edit a few things out, but pretty much just real quick because I've got boxes everywhere and yeah, it's not, it's not pretty. And so I do apologize if my voice is kind of covered in external noise, like so. <clears throat> yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do this real quick. Uh, so we have spokes in the wheel. Um, you can go for five. 10, 20, whatever the case may be, but uh, for me, we're going to go for three to make it look cool, but at the same time, have some, have some oomph, have some structure to it. Uh, we're not going to use the heavy Mark Five part, uh, Mark Three parts. You can, but this is just to show you the technique on how to do it. Basically, we're going to use a, a hitchhiker container unit. Basically what you want to do in order to make a circular part to be 100% circular, you want all the parts to be the same length, all the links in the chain to be the same length, meaning that you can't go like this, for instance, and then put these on the side like so, because this one is going to be a slightly smaller in lengthwise compared to these that are a little bit longer pretty sure maybe they're the same size they might they might be the same size I'm not sure but to, to be um, on the safe side when you hook these up on the little spokes that you got for your space station or your little uh, platform um, holder thingy majiggies you want to make sure that it's this going to be pointed the same way as the rest of the ring now since these lovely habitat modules don't attached to the sides. We need something that's the same size that will. Okay, so we're gonna go on fuel here. Uh, ah! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, so this is about the same size. Yeah, pretty much identical. So this can attach on the side. Make sure your angular snap is on. Uh, spacebar? Nope. Uh, w, A, S, D keys, E, and Q. There we go and put it as close to the middle as you possibly can. We will use the offset tool later. There we go. Alright, now, click this on the side. Actually, we want the window sticking outwards. There we go. Nice and neat. We'll take off, we'll toggle the flag off. Um, hold down Alt, click. We're going to make four, just to be on the safe side. Thanks to the new technological update of Rotate, Make sure your angular snap is on. Click on the part and just one just one click or just one 
one, you know, one uh, increment, I guess you could call it increment, I don't know. Click, just like that. What this is going to do is it's going to allow us to have precise, a precise radius when we start uh, blending all of this in. Nice precise radius. Now here comes the tedious part. So for those of you who have OCD, like I do, uh, <clears throat> grab a rag and and tie it up in a knot and just bite on it because this might get a little hairy. The reason why is because we're going to turn off angular snap, get our offset, and bring these two parts together. But since we don't have a really precise way of getting it precisely together, I am going to use the handlebars and try to get it just barely touching, touching the fuel tank here. There we go. That looks pretty good. Now we're going to go from one handlebar to the other. Again, just barely touching it. Bring it in. Make sure your angular snap is off for this or else you'll get that increment type of click thing going on. Whatever it's called. I don't know. Okay, there we go. That looks good. That looks good. They're just barely touching one another. Now once you're done with this part, this is going to be the tedious part of all this. Once you're done with this part, everything else will fall into place. Pretty much. Do not touch your green arrow. You will mess everything up. Just the red and the blue. There we go. Nice little V going on right there. Same thing with this one. Oh. Come on. Come on. There we go. And ah. all right. So notice that we got a nice little radius thing going on here, even though it's kind of ugly because of the uh, the ends are sticking out. Unlike the Mark III fuselage that I was showing you earlier, those blend in nicely. Although sometimes you get that bad clipping where it it uh, shimmers a lot. You want to go ahead and take the part that's shimmering and just prop it up just a tiny bit, and that will erase that. Make sure you do it so it's um, tasteful, you know, you don't want a weird kind of crisscross pattern going on. Anyway, so let's go ahead and grab our placement. Alt-click on this side, bring it across like so. Alright. Off, uh, rotate, make sure your angular snap is on, pop that, pop, okay. Offset, turn, it on your, uh, turn off your angular snap. This, where is our middle handlebar in there, okay, there goes our middle handlebar. Bring it on in, whoops, a little too much. Looks like it needs to come out some, yep. Bring it in. All right, it's about the same. Darn near about the same. Okay, good, now we have our half a donut. Mmm, forbidden donut. Go ahead, grab the angular snap on. Hit the X key to triple it. There we go. Make sure you're as dead center as possible. Nine times out of ten where your mouse is is where the center is. When you're when you're lighting this up. Nine times out of ten. Sometimes it can be a little a little funky. So right there. Okay, good. Yes, we are pretty much dead center. Nice. All right, so it's not a complete circle just yet. That's okay. We will fix this. Go ahead and hit your offset. Turn on angular snap. Turn off angular snap, excuse me. Bring your fuel tank down just a little bit so it's somewhat in the center. You can fix it later. Now, hold on to your, click your fuel tank there and bring it on in. Don't go like this because that's not a... I mean, it's an interesting design, <laughs> but it's not a circular habitat ring. Bring it on some more until until you get a perfect circle. So wherever that is, it looks like it looks like this right here is a perfect circle. But we have a problem. There's two parts in the middle and three areas that are uh, clipping into one another. So how do we do this? Get our place and take one of them off. Oop. Goodbye. All right. Offset, click on our fuel tank again, bring it on in, 
and just like all the other parts bring it on into just a bit like that there we go beautiful absolutely gorgeous now of course we come in here and do a little bit of surgical precision bring it in as close as possible uh, close as possible I cannot see my there we go alright well I can imagine that if you're starting to build your own stations you would take for you know forever how long it takes to line that up almost perfectly so nice look at that now in order to test out if this is uh, actually circular in nature just go ahead hit your rotate make sure your angular snap is off click your middle beam there or your middle whatever doohickey and just turn it around in a circle now look on the outsides look on the rims while you're turning it it looks like it looks like actually looks pretty good notice this little corner right here when I turn it doesn't look like it's going in or out too badly it's pretty good I like it it's spinning around in a nice little circle alright now we are not done yet because obviously this is still three halves you need to go ahead and strut it in order to figure out which one is which simply put your mouse over the area and it will highlight all the connecting all the parts that are connected looks like we got four that are connected on this side and then three on this side you can just hover over the mother part too that's connecting all of them it looks like the middle is right here between these two parts now I try not to strut it on the outside because well strutting on the outside of anything is hard enough because we have that little peak right there that gets in the way and I'm gonna strut so I'm gonna strut on the inside to try to keep the visual you know because when you come into a station you want it to look nice and smooth on the outside you don't want struts everywhere Alright, which part was it? It was these two right here. Okay. Yes. Now, Kerbals might be using this ladder thingamajig right here, so I'm not going to strut in the way of that, even though nine times out of ten, it doesn't really matter because they're like, I don't know, they don't have any physics to them or something. Your Kerbals can walk right through them. But you never know. You don't want it to be registered as, oh, there's something in the way. You can't get out even though it probably isn't but we're not going to take that risk alright so because those two struts are right there connecting all this together it should be a very solid very solid structure let's go ahead and test this okay I'm gonna put some stuff underneath of there nice and we can name it whatever we're gonna launch it and see how it does yes alright First impression, very nice, very stable. It's holding its own. There's no, uh, there's nothing underneath holding it. Very nice. Okay. Now let's uh, hold down Alt and uh, what is it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. The smaller or greater signs, also known as the period and comma keys. Hold down Alt and hit these keys in order to force physics warp. Whoa! <laughs> Notice that. It's, it's holding together really nicely. I bet, uh, I bet if anything broke down there, it'd probably just roll right off the uh, launch pad like a big Ferris wheel. Hint, hint, movie. Okay. Cool. All right, well, ladies and gentlemen, if this was in space, I doubt that the Kraken would have anything to do with it. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, <sighs> I need to go back to packing. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for your continued support. Oh boy, it's been a long day, and I still got a lot to do. Alright, well, I am Veus Human, and remember, all of you guys, you are awesome. And have a good night. Or day. Shit.